Hey guys, Eddie here from Delane Property. Today I wanted to jump on here and do a real quick video uh, answering three questions that I've been getting asked a lot recently. So I thought I'd jump on here, I'll keep it short and simple and get straight to the point. Um, but it basically answer three questions that I've been getting asked a lot. So one of the questions is, with the whole COVID-19 coronavirus thing going on right now, is now a good time to buy or should I be waiting till after all this blows over? So that's question one. I've been getting asked that question so many times, I thought I'd jump on here and do a video. Basically, is it a good time to buy or should people be waiting? My answer to that is there's no right or wrong answer. Basically, for me personally, um, is never a perfect time to buy. The perfect time to buy was yesterday and previously. Um, I'm still buying and no matter what, you know, there's a lot of fear mongering going out, going on there uh, with the media and what's gonna happen to the property market, etc. what's gonna happen to this and that. Um, basically, should, people, should property investors be buying? In my opinion, I think personally, this is probably one of the best times to be buying. And the reason, the reason why I say that is because generally when there's uncertainty in the market and generally when a lot of people are being held back with different things, different reasons and scared of that happening, scared of that happening, that's usually when you can pick up the best bargains in terms of property investment and pick things up below market value, below comparable sales and get the bargains and create you know, equity on the way in. So at times like this, yes, I see it as opportunity as a property investor. You know, there's obviously a lot of things going on, um, but as a as strictly as a from a property investment perspective, I see it as a great time to be buying. Um, right now, uh, within the last few weeks, we've been busier than ever picking up properties. More a lot of opportunities are coming up. Um, so that's the short answer to the question. I think it's a great time to be buying, and the people that do uh, purchase during this time. In the next 5, 10, 15 years, they are going to be very, very happy that they bought during this time. Because my first property that I bought as an example was not long after the global financial crisis. And that was like, you know, happened 2008, 2009, 2010. Things were like this. And I bought and that property is doubled and tripled in value. And everyone was telling me, don't buy, don't buy. It's not the great time to be buying, etc. But basically, if you listen to 99% of the people, you get their results. So if you want to be the 1%, you got to do what the 1% do. Hope that answers that question, guys, about should you be answer, should you be buying or not buying. Question two, basically, tenants paying rent during this time, during the whole coronavirus thing. What's going to happen with tenants paying rent? If I buy a property, how am I going to mitigate the risk of making sure my you know, mortgages, I'm not going to be in mortgage stress or whatever if the tenants can't pay the rent? Um, long story short, this is a very, very simple one. For me, um, you know, I've got 20 properties in my portfolio. I'm 28 years old. Uh, am I worried about tenants not paying the rent? Am I worried about you know having to pay the mortgages, etc.? No, not at all. Long story short, there's three things that you can always do to mitigate ri mitigate risk when it comes to uh, you know pay, getting getting rent in and paying your mortgages. Number one is making sure you always have a landlord insurance. The company I use, long story short, is one of the companies is called Terry Shear. And basically it's like an issue, if your tenant's on a fixed lease, they break their lease, can't make the repayments, something happens, it's basically like insurance. It will, you put an insurance claim and you get the money back, any money that you lose basically. So problem solved, that's number one. Number two is basically every single tenant always generally pays a four week bond. So at worst case scenario, the bond can, can be claimable if they're behind or if something happens, four week bond. Um, number three, Basically, always making sure you've got a good property manager in place. Like we have a property management company as part of our business, basically. That, that's one of the things that we do here. We look after property management as well. Basically, always making sure that your property manager has your tenant on a fixed lease, is in control of the situation. There's communication going on between the tenant. You know, you wanna make it a win-win situation for your tenants and, and everyone in that situation. So, yeah, three ways to mitigate risk. Make sure you always got landlord insurance. Making sure you, you obviously you got a right property manager in place. And think about it realistically. If they've got a bond in place, like you know, and also how much is the mortgage of the property you're buying? A lot of people that are very hesitant right now, like oh, I don't want to buy right now. If, you know, property for three hundred thousand. Like the mortgage repayments on that would be one hundred and seventy dollars a week on interest only. Like who can't afford that? Um, you know. Anyway, I could go on all day about. Uh, or all the, you know, to me, you know, sometimes silly questions that I, that I get asked. Um, 
But basically, that's number two, how to, uh, ways to pretty much mitigate risk in terms of, you know, making sure you're getting uh, rent being paid, etc. cetera. Um, number three is basically the question that I've been getting asked a lot is, is the property market going down because of the whole, because of the whole uh, COVID-19 coronavirus thing? And is, is the market gonna drop by 10, 20%, etc. Things like that. From my opinion, absolutely not. Um, from my personal opinion experience, I think the market, the property market is totally different to the share market. Um, yes, there's sometimes a little bit of a correlation between things that are going on in the economy to the property market, but generally in times like this, yes, there's might be a slightly less buyers out there in the market in terms of owner occupiers or sometimes, but a lot of a lot of investors, I think right now more than ever, are buying and and trying to pick up these bargains, but. The property, what's basically happened is since the last time I jumped on and did a video, they've cut the interest rates like two, three times. So the interest rates right now, some of them for a mortgage are like 2.7, 2.8, 3%. I don't even know what they are, but they're very, very, they're lower now than ever. And for affordable price properties that, you know, say you're picking up property for 300, 400, 200,000, whatever, and whether it's in you know, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, or whatever. I've been buying a lot of properties in the Brisbane market, but basically for, for affordable properties like that, if the interest rates, as an example, say you buy a property right now and it's a house for 300,000, it rents out for $400 a week. The mortgage repayments on that at like 2.9 or 3% would be ridiculous. It'd be like 150, $170 a week and your rent is 400 a week. Like this is a recipe for after this whole COVID-19 coronavirus thing, it's a recipe the, the fact is that the interest rates are coming down, it's, in recipe, it's a recipe for inflation. It's a recipe for basically the property market gonna explode in my opinion over the next three, four, five, six years. So I'll be the first one to basically you know, say that inflation is definitely gonna happen. For, for lower price properties in the medium end, like everyone, a lot of people can afford 200K, 300, 400K properties. People affording $2 million, $3 million properties, they're obviously it's a small market. So in my opinion, the lower to middle end of the market is always gonna be more stable and secure from that front. So basically I hope that, uh, that uh, answers those three questions about is now the right time to buy, is it the wrong time to buy, should you wait, etc. That's That was my answer. Um, ways to mitigate risk throughout you know, having your tenants in place. Um, you know, let us share your thoughts, I got, share your thoughts. Um, I guess guys and comment below or, or message me through any questions that you've that you any other questions you've got but those are the three questions I've been getting asked a lot recently so I thought I'd jump on here and just do a real quick video um, keep it short and simple and I hope that answers the questions so thanks for watching guys and I'll chat to you soon bye